Why are some boho's better than others? It's my job to repair hand pumps. It can be straightforward. But sometimes it can be more complicated. And at other times it's impossible even for me. One day I realized that the problem might be caused by the actual borehole rather than the hand pump. So one day I contacted Harriet, who is a hydrogeologist, and Dan, who is a driller. I explained that there are a lot of hand pumps that I cannot fix and asked them to explain why. Apparently, pumps break down for all sorts of reasons. And to understand, you need to think like a detective as well as a mechanic. The difficult part is understanding what happens in the borehole. They told me to imagine that I'm very small and can see inside a borehole, just like a borehole camera. So what is a good borehole design? First of all, it needs to be located far enough away from any contamination source, like a latrine, a cemetery, or waste dump. This is not always easy if the plot is small. Secondly, the hydrogeological conditions on every drill site are different. Good information from other boreholes in the area can help. Harriet says, that means that even if a drilling specification is prepared, it has to be adjusted on the site. Thirdly, the materials installed need to be good quality. Casing needs to be thick enough. Dan told me that he once saw an inexperienced driller using a thin drain pipe. The well collapsed after just one day, but the driller had already left. Fourthly, the well needs to be deep enough, with a screen next to the part of the formation where the water flows in. The design needs to take seasonal fluctuations into consideration as well. And apparently, if the screen is not in the right place, not enough water will flow into the borehole. And if the slots are too big, then the well will silt up. Drilling sounds difficult. I learned four more things. One of the biggest mistakes that some drillers make is to use the wrong type of gravel pack or formation stabilizer. It needs to be clean with the particles of a similar size and the right size for the slots, not gravel chippings and not dust. There is guidance available for gravel pack and how to power it in. Then it gets backfilled using the material that was drilled. Not all drillers seal the well with cement grout. However, the well needs to be properly sealed to stop contaminated surface water from getting in. It should be five meters thick to stop contamination. And then there's the well development flushing all of the dirty water out of the well and making sure that nothing prevents the flow of water. Well development is another aspect that gets left out if the driller is in a hurry and nobody is supervising. In fact, undeveloped wells often fill up with silt and I can't fix them. Silting is one of the main reasons why boreholes fail. Lastly, the well needs to be test pumped to make sure that there is enough water. Drilling is complicated and needs to be done by skilled people who have been trained. They should also be licensed and always properly supervised. If this happens, people will get good water supplies. But I need to get home before dark, as well as being a mechanic and a detective and a diver. I also need to tell others about good borehole design and construction. But that is for another day. If you want to know more about borehole design, 
You can download a book called Developing Groundwater from the Practical Action website. <laughs>